It can be frustrating when you're trying to print something and it won't actually stick to the build plate. Or even worse, if it gets knocked off the build plate midway through or even towards the end of the print and you have to start over. You're wasting filament, you're wasting time, and it's just a bad day. You might end up with something like this or much worse if you're towards the end. Alright, so let's talk about adhesion options for glass build plates. Um, I've got a glass build plate from an Indoor 3 right here. I'm going to go over some of the options we have and then the pros and cons of each of them. And I'm going to actually add the adhesion to the glass as we're talking here and kind of go over it. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm using this little laptop stand to kind of elevate the glass so you can see what I'm talking about here. Alright, so first let's talk about all the options we have before we apply them to the build plate. First one being painter's tape. I prefer to go with the thicker painter tape. I think this is a 3 inch or 4 inch. Um, I just grabbed it off of Amazon. Or you can go with the thinner one like this yellow tape that's on the bed right now. Um, I guess the biggest difference is the amount of layers you're going to have to do. If you go with uh, one inch like this, you're going to have to do multiple layers across the board, where if you go with the thicker ones, you'll be cutting that in half. They would work the same though. Uh, next one's going to be your glue stick. Uh, I've always just used the Elmer's glue like this. You can use, it's called like a purple glue stick. Uh, it's designed for uh, glass beds specifically. I have not used it, but I know it, some people have, and it's a decent option. I would just use this, though. Much cheaper. Third option is a specialty option, kind of like this bed weld. It's designed for 3D printers. Um, this has been great. Uh, I This is my go-to. Um, I think I've had this bottle for over six months now. It feels almost new, so you're not really using much of it. And one coating will last you five to ten prints depending upon if you let it properly cool or not. Um, all right, and then the last option, I don't have an example of here, it's going to be your hairspray. I know a lot of people who use hairspray because it's cheap, it's easy to use. I personally don't use it, I just don't like the mess it leaves and if you get it into any of the components you can have issues. So just know it is an option, I don't use it. but. I know a lot of people who would recommend that even over some of these. So let's go ahead and start applying these to the different sections. I left the top half here open for the painter tape, and then we'll do one of the sections down here with the glue or the glue stick, and then bed weld over here. All right. Now with the painter's tape, you're going to want to make sure that. It's on there evenly. Sorry, this is kind of a pain. <laughs> and that uh, you got a little overlap, but not an excessive one. All right. So here, if you're only doing a small print, you'd only have to put it where that print is if you know for sure where it's going to be. If not, you'll have to do the entire surface. But here, we're going to put this here. Um, I'll end up just using two layers. Sorry about that. And when you put it on there, you can just bend it over and kind of rip it along the glass. That way you get an even surface. And you don't have to worry about it going below. Alright, so that's that one. Let's go ahead and add the next row here. Uh, with this one, because it's going to go over the top if I just do a small overhang. I'm going to do a little bit larger overhang. Or overlap, sorry. So it just goes up to the top and then we'll do the same thing here. We'll kind of fold it over and then just rip it down. As long as it doesn't go underneath the build plate, you're fine. And that's all there is to it. Um, with the painter's tape, you might get a couple prints out of it. Um, you might just want to replace it after each print, depending upon what you're doing. Your choice there. Um, get to know your printer. Maybe try a couple times, see what it ends up doing. Some printers might work differently. Different materials are going to work differently. Even uh, different filaments are the same type. So if you have uh, two different uh, brands of PLA filament, they're going to behave a little bit differently. 
So just kind of play around with it, figure out how many times you can get off of a single layer and go from there. But I guess one good thing to point out about painter's tape is the cleanup is easy. Just rip it off and good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and put this back up. Hopefully it doesn't fall back over on me again. It's just a little laptop stand that I'm using here. It elevates the glass nice for a display. All right, so glue sticks. You're going to want to make sure you get a little coat, but you don't want it to be excessive where you're getting globs of glue anywhere. So just nice and smooth with it. You can see where it's already been. Um, just look at the actual glass itself as you're doing it. You can clearly see where the glue is at and where it's not. So if there's any gaps or overlaps, you're able to see that. I'd like to just go over all of it and then kind of fill in any spots that I might have missed. Now, if you have a couple little spots in the middle, don't worry about it. It's not the end of the world. But that's really all there is to it. Again, if you're going to be printing a small minifigure or something like that that's just going to be in the middle, that's all you have to do. If you're going to be using it for a couple different prints and want to do the entire, entire surface as well, that's fine. Um, it's not like you're wasting much here. This stick will probably do this plate hundred, maybe a couple hundred times, and it's a dollar or two. So um, from a cost perspective, it's not a big deal. All right, so now we've got the bed weld. It's going to be the same as your glue stick. Um, you've got a foam surface at the top. You've got to push down on it to actually get uh, the liquid on the foam surface, and then you can spread it in. So kind of like that. You want to get a nice, smooth, light layer. You don't want it to be too thick. And then this actually builds up on the surface. So you're going to want to re-level the bed afterwards. You can try not to. I mean, I always have. And I believe in the instructions. They recommend re-leveling uh, re the bed. It's a choice you can make, though. Um... So with the glue, they both work quite well. Uh, with the bed weld, you're gonna wanna let it cool down for a bit after the print, unless you're gonna, it's the, it actually works too well almost um, when it's warm. So you just won't be able to get the print off without damaging it when it's too hot. So just let it cool down, it'll come right off when it's cool. Uh, the glue stick, it, it's not an issue either way. I haven't had issues with it sticking. Um, so the downside to either the glue options and well even the hairspray is the cleanup. Uh, in between layers you can probably get, uh, well it depends what you're printing, but you could probably get let's just say five prints between each coating. Um, when you're done with that coating you're going to have to go wash the glass off get back down to a base glass layer with all the glue removed and then recoat it so it's a little bit of a messy process but it works well so really the option yours uh, you can also use some sort of build tech plate if you want it to something like this i've stuck it to the glass um, it works okay if you have a base um, aluminum build plate you can also stick it directly to that if you don't want to use the glass but then it is going away from the glass so it's not really the same anymore i just wanted to throw that out there as an option uh, this came with the filament so it's might be worth playing around with see if you like it or not um, different people have different experiences with the different types of build plate so it's really your preference i mean we also have like the magnetic build plate here kind of like a build tech material um, this is what came on the ender 3 by default so it's just what preference it's really a preference what works best for you what do you like working with uh, just make sure that whatever you do you have a good solid first layer if that first base layer gets messed up you're going to have issues for the rest of the print um, and it might even mess up at the end and then you're wasting all that filament and that time all right, so that covers build plate adhesion. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll make sure to get back to you.
Um, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. It'll really help this channel out. I appreciate that. And I'll talk to you next time. Thanks.